I decided I talk to you about a more serious subject than most of my other videos. Whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you are, this subject affects you. It affects us all. Bullying and hate. Now you guys are probably gonna say, oh this is gonna be another annoying lecture about bullying and I don't wanna listen to this. And yeah, that's probably what it's gonna be. I've never actually spoken out about this to anyone. I thought I'd do it to all of you. Bullying is actually something that really affects me. I don't like seeing it, and I don't like hearing about it, of course. And lately, I feel like when I'm scrolling down my Facebook timeline, there are way too many videos of people getting bullied. I mean, sure, put it up on Facebook, grow awareness for it, but really, if I were the person getting bullied in those videos, I would be so bad seeing that a million people saw me getting bullied by someone. Bullying is not a joke, it's serious, and I know it firsthand because I was bullied, like most people I believe. It's not even an uncommon thing, bullying is just normal, it's like if you were to gather 50 people in a room and ask who in their whole life have experienced bullying. Not everyday hate and bullying, but just once. Because bullying is not a weekly thing, a monthly thing, no. Bullying is, it just takes once and it's bullying. So if you were to gather 50 people in a room and ask them who had been bullied, I'm pretty sure about 45 of those people will raise up their hands. Because it's a thing that everyone has been touched by. Everyone knows someone who went through it badly. Everyone has had a moment in their life where they had been bullied by someone. And it's a human thing, which is really sad to say, but it is, and we can't stop it. No matter what we try, it's never gonna go away. When I was in grade six, which I don't know in your country what grade six equals to, but just to tell you, I was like 11, 12. When I was in grade six, I was bullied. I'm not proud to say I was bullied or anything, but I know that really out of it, I got good things. It all happened really fast and I don't know how it happened. One day I was at school, everything was great. I was with my friends and the next day I was absent and when I came back to school, they just were horrible with me. They would reject me and because we were a really small class, they would pressure the other people to reject me as well. And of course, those people rejected me as well because which side do you want to be on, right? In that class, I literally had one person who didn't reject me, whose name was Siam. He was a very silent kid, but I mean, he was kind of the best friend there was there. Through all this, I would miss so much school and yeah, I just wanted to die and I'm not saying this lately, I hated my life and I would fake sick just not to see those girls, just not to relive that. I mean, I would cry at school. That's how bad it was. <laughs> but I think the worst part out of the story is that when I told these girls that I was done with life, that I didn't want to be this person, I didn't want to have their hate all over me. They contacted the school and said I was suicidal. And guess who ended up having to go see a therapist at school? Me. I wasn't the one with the problems. I was being tormented by those girls. And I'm the one who has to go to a therapist. I think the people who have to go to a therapist when they're bullying someone are the bullies, not the victim. So that was pretty much the worst year of my life. You must be wondering, what did I do to stop it? Or did I stop it? Well, I moved to another country. I'm not even kidding. The next year after that was the year that I moved to Europe with my mom and I didn't move because I had been bullied in grade six, but that was part of why I decided to go with my mom. And I am happy I went with my mom because <laughs> Those three years in Belgium were the best years of my life. I met the most amazing people. 
And I can say without a doubt that Europeans are much nicer than Canadians. No offense to Canadians, but there are just so many more hypocritical people in Canada than there are in Europe. I mean, I've experienced both. I've experienced Europe and I've experienced Canada. And it's crazy how many liars I have come across here in Canada. I feel like every single year in Canada, I get close to someone who I end up finding out that they've been lying about everything. We're getting off subject here. Basically, the point of this video was just to share my story, I guess, and to tell you guys, do something. If you're getting bullied, don't let it continue. Really, there's an amazing life waiting for you. All you have to do is step up and get it. Don't expect other people to do it for you. Don't expect someone to eventually notice because they won't and they can't do anything. Raise your voice because that's pretty much the only thing you can do. Stand up for yourself and be proud of who you are. There's a quote that says, be you and be okay with it. So be you and be okay with it because there's no one better at it than you. So spread your wings, butterfly. As you can see, I'm a much happier person now. You know, there are people out there, there's always someone who is there to support you, to love you. So just speak up. And if that doesn't work, you could always move to another continent like I did. But yeah, that's it for this week, guys. I'm sorry if it was a very serious video, but I don't know. I just wanted to talk about this. I will see you next week for hopefully a more uplifting video. <laughs> Happy Halloween!